Hey, what's going on you guys? Joe here and today I have an After Effects tutorial on how to sync gunshots with the beat of the music in After Effects and this is a very basic way of doing it. I'll just go ahead and say that right now. Uh, you do not need Twixter for this and uh, this is just a very simple way to line up the shots with the beat of the music. So the first thing that you want to do is open up After Effects and import your clip and song that you're going to be using and come down here and make a new composition and I'll just uh, set the duration for 30 seconds that's about right uh, 1280 by 720 all this is good 59.94 okay so now I'm just gonna import my song in and I'll find the part in the song where I actually want it to be synced up so um, I'm gonna pause the recording really quick and uh, I'm just gonna set the markers and then I'll tell you how I did it Okay, now that I'm back, uh, as you can see, there are these little markers on the on the uh, music. Uh, so how you want to do that, it's very simple. You just want to have this in there so you don't have to uh, pre-render anything out if you have your clip in. Or if you already have a uh, clip in, you can just hide it by clicking right over here. It'll be there somewhere. And um, then what you want to do is when it gets to the point in the music where you want it to set a marker, all you have to do is hit control 8 and so you can just hold down control when you're uh, running when you're listening to the music and then just press 8 and uh, I warn you this is on Mac I am not a hundred percent certain if that's how you do it on uh, PC I think you might have to hold alt and do 8 I'm not sure but you can mess around with it so um, anyways once you have these markers on here you can import your clip and um, as you will see here um, you do not want to make the uh, the composition the same amount of time as your clip because you don't know if um, you're going to exceed that time so always just make it a bit longer as I did so um, what you're gonna want to do here is just move up to the point in your clip where you take the shot so as you can see um, right here the bullet has been shot and when the music is or when the edit is moving so fast you won't be able to tell a few frames from another so um, yeah this is pretty good I, I kind of like syncing it up maybe a few frames after the shot so uh, right here once you find that you just want to right click on your clip come up to time and enable time remapping now you'll see these uh, two keyframes. You do not want to mess with those. That will mess up the speed of the clip. So um, just leave these two original keyframes alone. And what you're going to want to do is come over here where you add a keyframe and add it. And then what you want to do is move back about 20 or 30 or 40 frames. So um, it kind of depends on how your clip looks so you can mess around with it so right there is about good and you just want to set another keyframe then move back up and I'm just gonna stretch this out a bit and um, once you're back you want to move up to really wherever oops and um, just so if it speeds up or slows down in between shots um, then when you're scoping up and unscoop and unscoping it won't look awkward so you just want to add another keyframe there so then you move up to the next uh, shot and I'm just gonna go ahead and um, pause the recording again because it's basically the exact same thing over and over again so um, just a little recap you want to set a keyframe on where you shoot and then uh, move back anywhere from 20 to 50 frames hit another keyframe and then go back to your um, to the shot and then move forward about 20 or 30 frames it really just depends so I'll just pause this and I'll be back in two minutes alright guys I am back and as you can see I've set all my keyframes on the uh, time remapped clip so uh, what you're gonna want to do now is uh, just zoom it out so you can see all of your oh shit uh, zoom it out so you can see all of your keyframes and then just select all of them 
and then move this so uh, the middle keyframe of your first shot is lined right up with um, is lined right up with the um, marker on your or on the timeline. Sorry. So you can totally maximize it up and just find the right spot. So uh, there we go. And then move forward and um, you want to select all of your keyframes again and just move them back so the middle keyframe is in line with the with the marker again. And make sure you aren't selecting the wrong keyframes when doing this. And uh, just continually do this. It's a pretty easy process. And obviously if you want it to look and be uh, more in sync, then you'll take a, a bit more time than I am right now. And I'm just wondering if I got all my keyframes. Alright, so, and I forgot one. That's alright. So, I'll just move this one up. Select all these. Okay, and uh, then that's the end of the clip. So um, another thing that you might notice is if you're doing this and uh, your clip runs off of the off of the, or if your if your sync or if your keyframes run off of the uh, clip, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just drag this out, and if there's any time lost, as you can see. Um, once you make up for all the time that uh, you have missed or that it, you have lost, it will just freeze frame like it is here. But um, you will regain some time if you uh, do go off the timeline or, or off the uh, keyframe timeline or whatever. I don't know what I'm really saying, but that's all right. So um, I'm going to quickly just RAM preview this. I'll pause it so you don't have to watch it slowly RAM preview. My computer is not the best. So, um, just a second. Alright guys, um, I am back and I've RAM previewed it out and um, I'll just, just a second, let me take out my headphones so you can actually hear the music and the show. So um, I don't know if the mic has changed or if you can hear me, but uh, let's just give this a quick try. So as you saw, all the shots were synced up perfectly with the uh, the bass drop, and. Um, if you're wondering, the song is called I'm On One Kilogram Remix. I'll put that in the description if you want to use that. It's an awesome song for montages, and it's just a good song in general. So, um, yeah, just remember that this isn't the nicest way to sync, and another way to make it uh, look a bit better is you can add frame blending and uh, motion blur by just double-clicking on here and clicking there and then enabling both of them so um, it looks a bit better. Maybe not as uh, choppy. But anyways, guys, uh, that is the tutorial on how to sync your gunshots simply without Twixter. Uh, literally, this tutorial took me about 10 minutes to make uh, while my computer was paused and stuff. So it's really simple, especially if you're just doing it for um, a basic one-clip edit or even just a bigger montage that you want some nice gun sync in. So um, if you have any other tutorial requests, just leave them in the comment section below, and I will be sure to read all the comments. I mean, I don't get that many, so I always read all of them, but anyways, uh, just leave a comment if this helped out or if you want more tutorials and specify which ones you'd like. So um, yeah, make sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe, guys. Thank you a lot for watching, and I will talk to you later.